good morning friends here today we are here to discuss the difference between hard copy shallow copy and deep copy and uh, what are the various uh, problems associated with these three and uh, what are the limitations of one of them which are addressing with the other things let me initially take a uh, variable par underscore list i'm taking a list so it constitutes of all the variables uh, values sorry so let us say it is taking some five values like this and in the second case I want taking a child list so where I need to place the same number of va uh, same values itself one two three four five itself I should need to place same list as uh, this is a uh, com uh, common case so we will be inclined to go for is equal to so and so so that is a common scenario being taken by anyone so if that is the case so it becomes par underscore list equal to so and so in the same means parent list <coughs> the same fashion if you go for the child list child list also will be the same and now so what we could see here is that uh, we are having two operators called as is operator and second one is equivalence operator these two operators have their own significance so initially if you are going for the uh, equivalence operator equivalence operator checks the values checks whether the values are equal or not let us say if I go for this uh, parent list is equivalent to child list if that is the case yes they both are equal why because both the values are equal so it is equal and in the second case i told you that that is is operator is operator checks the object level identity in uh, layman's terms is operator checks whether both the variables are stored in the same memory location or not so that's what the thing so uh, here what we could see is that uh, in the previous case if you see if I place is operator I am getting true it means that so both the variables are assigned to the same object so the same object is uh, so both are referring to the referencing to the same object here and this is the scenario and now we could see the side effects let us say uh, i am restating the first list what is called as parent list it is something else like this so i want to change one of the value within this list let me take some second value oh let me make it to be my name is Uday, like that and then rechecking the values so you could see that the second position starting from the zeroth first and second position the second position was modified and uh, let me see how the child list is there okay, you could see that the child list was also modified so this this is the problem actually this is called as uh, referencing side effect so here a new copy was not created when the child list was done when we initialized the child list to equal to the parent list new copy was not created but a referencing was done so this is the limitation of referencing so before going to the solution for this problem let me check the other case where if i ch do any changes to the child list that is the secondary list whether the first or primary list will be affected or not so if we go for the child list child and the core list of let me change the first value that is zeroth value right zeroth value so i want to replace with prakash that's also my name so here let me check so how this is there if you see here what you could identify is that I replaced the first position so zeroth position so corresponding zeroth position was modified and let me check whether the parent or the first list was affected or not 
gas here the first is also affected it means that as both the variables are referencing to the same object any modification done through uh, through these variables will be affecting those objects so correspondingly both the changes will be affecting so this is a serious side affecting problem which is a problem so in order to prevent these sort of things so we should go for some other solutions so now we are going for uh, solution is by going for a module called as copy using this copy we can do the job so here the copy gives us two things one is called as shallow copy shallow copy which is given by so copy dot copy will address the shallow copy whereas there is another thing called as deep copy we could see what are the differences but here initially the copy dot deep copy will address this thing so these are the corresponding functions corresponding here let me restate a new thing like um, again i want to reinitialize this list i don't want to make a mess here so i want to restate it one two three four five it's okay fine in the same fashion i want to create some child classes right let me take like um, child list right so i want to place like uh, child list 1 is equal to so the traditional method that we have followed till now that is called as par underscore list so this is not using any copy we are just referencing directly we are using the traditional method to compare in the second way we can go for so in the functions that is copy dot copy of copy dot copy of parent list so this is child class 2 the third one is list 3 is equal to copy dot deep copy of parent list so with this we have created using three methods one is the conventional method and the other two are the copy and deep copy as i already stated that this copy method is used is also called a, used for the method called a shallow copy is done exhibited using copy and deep copy is used with deep copy as it is and now let us check whether all the values are equal or not we had the privilege that we can compare in python more than two values so so underscore child Call list one is equal to child underscore list two child underscore list three. So we have list all the four, right? So so we have yeah, sure. So we have taken child underscore list list actually it's the list. List one, child one, school list two, child one, school list three. So what you could observe is true. Means that if any of one of the variable among these things is having a different value, so it would be throwing a false. As all the values are equal, it is throwing it as three. So this is very uh, fastest process to do that. And in the same fashion, we can't do the ease operator here. So if you see ease operator, you could see the difference here. so according to pipest um, pipest standards we should maintain at least one space between okay, 
the front end, uh, end of the operators okay so what you could see this is false means that there is certain amount of difference now we can go and validate individually parent list is child underscore list one so which was a pretty conventional method that we have attributed and we know that there is a, a problem with this and we need to address this thing so in the same fashion we can see for child 2 yeah there is a difference here you could see so so uh, this child underscore list 2 was done using copy method and other thing see oh even this deep copy is also different from that see let us see oh, what's the difference that is executing at least let us see whether this uh, copy and deep copy are also serving the in the same fashion or not at least they are, are equal or not even they two are also not equal so, so let us see how the things are rolling on whether equivalency is not there means that this is operator as i already stated you that is operator will be checking the object level equivalence rather than the checking the values equivalent to operator does the job of checking the values whether both the values are equal or not something is operator will be checking the in object level so that's why it is saying that so it is false it means that this copy and deep copy are creating a new objects rather than referencing to the same object so let us see the previous problem will be arises here or not as all the child lists were created using the parent list i will do a modification to the parent list and if that modification is reflected in the other things so our problem is not addressed and if it is not replaced so our problem is so uh, we got a solution you can get the solution parent list uh, i am replacing uh, re uh, assisting here i want to change some value let me take three okay uh, let me use a key like i won't say new so i am placing list so you could get here now i want to see how the things are rolled so this was first method which was done using the conventional method of referencing and uh, we could see the second method oh, which was done using shallow copy or copy so which was there wasn't any change here so in the same fashion using deep copy that we have done there also there is no change it means it was confirmed that so our problem was solved to some extent and so loops so we will not get the difference now i am going for a new uh, loop like i'm taking let's say this parent list list i'm remaking one comma two comma three comma four comma So it was a multi-dimensional list where you could see I'm restating it. Okay. So I want to make a modification to this list correspondingly. So uh, if I uh, again I should generate the same old things again child list why right? because the previous child list are different from these things. Uh, so. child underscore list of so uh, leaving the conventional method which is not essential for us so we can go for the things like child dot two is equal to copy dot copy of list and 
the third way is co using copy dot deep copy using parent list so these are the things that were done right so i am now checking par underscore list this was the first thing child underscore list two child underscore list three so now all three were equal in terms of values and uh, object levelly as we know already that they are different so if we can test them again false means new object was created false means new object was created now let me uh, make a change to the parent list here i want to take something like within the closed loop like so this was zeroth element first element second element uh, and this is zero first second and this is third element complete with only with third element so i want to do something in the third element and within this third this inner row i want to take th this thing so i could say it is 0 1 2 so i should go for the second thing and next <coughs> i want to give a change to this second value means 0 1 so i want to change this seven value right so uh, i will place like this if you want to check you can just give this so you could see you got the answer as 7 and you can uh, uh, replace it with 7 <laughs> so i am replacing it with string if i re check the things values again you could see that <laughs> parent underscore list was changed corresponding let us see whether the child list were changed or not child list was changed see the difference so what we could identify is that this child list two which was done using copy method copy method so which is doing the job of shallow copy you could see the answer as the using shallow shallow copy method has reflected the changes which were done to the parent class parent uh, list but if you see the other thing so it is deep copy so if you see the observe, uh, observe the difference here you could see that the deep copy is the thing which doesn't reflect any of the changes so now i could generalize the thing like this that if you are going for the referencing so there is something called as referencing side effect if you are going for the general method of referencing there is something called as referencing side uh, side effect due to which any of the modifications which were done to the parent list will be affecting the child list and any of the modifications done to the child list will be affecting the parent list so that is clear and to avoid that sort of scenario we are going for a method called as uh, using inbuilt uh, module called as copy and using that copy we are going for two methods one is shallow copy and deep copy and uh, seeing pretty cool what you could see is that if you go for a ordinary list so one dimensional list so both will be working in the same fashion but when we go to the multi dimensional list so we could identify the difference between these two and finally i would like to conclude this session by specifying two points that all these uh, referencing issues and all the things will be done only for the mutable objects mutable objects means so mutable so mutable objects only suffer these things so what are the mutable objects means list dictionaries dictionaries and sets so uh, i need to place in this uh, 
comment here before so list to only suffer this sort of problem whereas uh, immutables it doesn't suffer immutables means tuples tuples are immutables so tuples don't have any problem like this and finally concluding the session with one more small thing called as augmented assignment augmented augmented assignment and shared references here you could identify one thing i am taking a small list with just a two values one and two so after that i am mimicking the values i'm taking m equal to l the same old the first value of referencing and I am doing a job like this L is equal to L plus 3 comma 4 so now I want to take the value see the values of L and M oh my god so what you could see is that so M was derived from L but what you could see is that the changes which were done to L were not reflected in M so the difference is that here we have gone for augmented assignment so when this sort of thing is going on like see here concatenation is taking place concatenation concatenation creates a new object and pours the values value which is there in l into that new object pours the values which is there in uh, in this uh, second list called 3 comma 4 in that new list new object and uh, does the um, concatenation and results that value here back so due to that as new object was created due to concatenation the new object were uh, values are not reflected in the old objects so that's the job here so this is pretty cool so thank you for the session so in the next class we can go for the next session so we can take a new topic and we can come back again. Thank you for the session. Hope you have enjoyed.